everybody, Andrew Bullpin here for another recording of All In with Bullpin. And we're going to be talking about some of the trends for 2022 in the biopharma industry. Darren, turning to you, continuous manufacturing has been a hot topic for, for many years and continues to be so. We've done a lot in the space. We continue to make progress. How do you think the industry will continue to evolve in 2022 and beyond? Hey, thanks, Andrew, and I really appreciate our end of year trends for 2022. So I hope we can keep this up. It's really a fun activity we do. But this question around continuous processing actually sits right at the heart of the paradoxical debate, I call it, uh, where pharma industry has historically been conservative, but is also known for driving huge disruptions and in innovation. But from our market research, actually, we see that there's two main roadblocks for adoption of continuous bioprocessing, which are actually complexity and regulatory hurdles. But actually, despite these hurdles, we still see adoption and progress on the path towards continuous. In 2022, we will see, first, further intensification of unit operations, where our customers are really focused on eliminating bottlenecks in their processes. A great example of this is our collaboration with Transcenta, who is utilizing our flow-through polishing purification technology, as well as helping us bring to market multi-chrome column chromatography and inline viral inactivation. Secondly, advancements in PAT or process analytical tools and at line testing is being realized through our Procellix Raman spectroscopy technology. It's a real enabler for real time testing and monitoring. Lastly, which is a big one for us, as we drive to a more sustainable and carbon neutral foundations, continuous processing will be defined as a game changer in sustainability. Smaller footprint plants with less equipment and lower utility resources will offer a step change in carbon neutrality, potentially driving the acceleration of a continuous future. Darren, excellent. And I really like the last one around uh, sustainability. Um, the industry has evolved enormously as how it views sustainability. And I think uh, it's no longer a requirement, but it's something which is a, a frontline objective and goal moving forward. And don't forget to tune in next time for another episode of All In with Bullpin. Cheers now.